Hi gamers! With the new changes to dying that came out with Dawn Trail, I really wanted to make a quick update to all those now sorta of obsolete die guides out there. Something quick, simple, that goes over the changes in an easy to follow way. With that in mind, here's how dying armor and weapons has changed in 7.0. I'm Debbie, and here we go! Clicking on an item still brings up the die option. Items with one die channel have one circle, items with two have two, and items that cannot be died have no circle. Items with in-game quests that require completion before dying is available have a lock. Items where the circle is actually a cross just means that they're already glammed. The new dying screen looks like this. You can select your die channel here. You can select your die colors here. Right click or press the menu button here on a color to set as a favorite die. Favorite dies are saved and will always appear when you enter the die screen, so if you have a set of one or two dies that you use constantly, this can save you a whole bunch of time. You can swap to your favorite dies here. This will color your current outfit in your two favorite dies. Press here to inverse colors. This will change die one to die two and vice versa. It's a great way to quickly check which die channel you prefer in which color between favorites, but also works for manually selected die one and die two colors. Press here to go back to previously dyed colors. If you want to start fresh or remember what it looked like before you started playing around with it. Press here to show all currently equipped items dyed the same color. Customize your full outfit at the same time. Press here to show all items in die one. This will show all currently equipped items as they will look, but only shows die one. Press here to show all items in die two. And this will show all currently equipped items as they would look in only die two. Having both on will of course show you how all items would look in both dies, if all items are dual channel items, of course. In order to dye something, you will need to have the necessary dyes in your inventory. An X on a color means you don't have it, while the absence of the X means you have some on hand. It will show you a total of number of dyes you need and in which colors when you go to dye them by pressing the dye button. I hope this video helped explain the new dye screen for anyone who's been interested but unsure of how the new system works. Thank you so much to my members and patrons who support this channel and sponsor the time I spend working on it. You can join them for as low as $2 Canadian monthly. Thank you so much for watching gamers and I'll see you in game.